Well, what is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Bringing you another four star partner series video. This is on the Red Fierce Beast. Then we'll get right into it. The Red Fierce Beast is used to awaken the third awakening, a very important part of the partner system. And as you can see, how we're flying by this, they awaken the three star partners. And whatever color restrains them, so red restrains green. So green is actually going to be what awakens the red partners. We'll get into that a little bit more later. First skill, chest strike. Has a 50% chance of inflicting healing forbidden. So it does damage to one partner, plus does healing forbidden. Now there is no changes as far as the red beast on third awakening. Maybe it's because it's an awakening partner, I don't know. But I did see something odd in the, in the graphics for the fourth awakening it may mean nothing at all but there might be something else coming for it later on down the road we can't see fourth through sixth yet second skill overwhelming press it's an attack all so it attacks everyone it also it, it can do a reduce reduce attack debuff and this does damage based on his max hit point and so it's a pretty strong pretty strong attack but his big attack lunchtime He'll call on a shark, a land shark, and it will steal 30% of the health from your opponent. 30% of its max health. And, which that means that he heals himself as well. He steals it from them to him, so he'll do, he'll do damage to them. He'll gain health right back for himself. And that's, that's definitely his, his, best, his best contribution to the team. He does have a leader skill of plus 25% defense, and that's for all teammates. His legion skill is, he has negative 40 to the morale of the enemy beast masters and he's part of the beast squad so at fifth awakening he'll get the beast skill which is at the end of the first three rounds he does a, a defense debuff on the other team on one one person and if you look on in, in game you'll see that the hot choice war patterns the third one was flipping through so fast that I, we never did get a picture of it but hippo hippo and bull you want high health on him I think two of his attacks depend on his max hit point, so you really want high health on him. And I know that uh, there's a lot of stuff that, on these hot choices. That, you know, if you talk to a lot of people, you'll you'll see that you don't really want to just only go by the hot choice. That's all I want to say because it's it's players that that they post the stats from. It could be any player. It could it may not be the expert that you wanna that you wanna be looking at. It could be just anyone. Even though we all copy them sometimes. So, easy pick. Pretty simple on this one. Hippo, Whale, they both... They, one does a team hit point increase. One does a personal hit point increase. Now, as far as the war patterns, I put hit point percentage on all three up top. And I try to get attack percentage in every single war pattern up top, down bottom. If you listen to the channel before, there's a progression that goes with these war patterns. I always suggest try to use the best war patterns you can. Try to use the gold. Try to use the purple war patterns if you can. Uh, a lot of people like to put speed on the left hand. This is okay, but you have to have a gold or purple war pattern to do that. Because if you don't, get the hit point up to about 18 or 20%. So that means it has to be the second skill on it. And you have to get lucky and hit it two or three times. Uh, then it, he's really going to suffer some because you want his health as high as possible. Now, I've been doing this the last few videos. What I'll do is we'll run through this real fast because we have, we have a time uh, limit here. And what, what happens is every time he attacks, he just did the chest strike right there. He got healing forbidden on it. Did 1,300 damage. And I know it's flying by. <laughs> uh, but it's amazing how many times I had to write all this stuff. He got a lot of attacks in. Next was overwhelming press. He did a total of 3,400 damage on the team. So if you get Red Fierce Beast total hit point between the, the, the basic and the, and the additional hit points, if you get him up around 30,000 total by the time you get to level 40, he can do some significant damage, especially with lunchtime. It's, it's, it's an amazing amount of damage that he can do. And he does team damage. He, does, uh, he can debuff. So he's got a, a whole array of attacks. So he's pretty decent. And plus he's a, he has a good chin too. So he doesn't take one shot and just go, go down for the count. And you can see that he hits the uh, healing forbidden quite often with the chest strike. So he's he's basically making it impossible for them to heal themselves. And there you see Thor's curse over everybody, and it's it's a 
it does a lot of damage. It takes out it takes out the red fierce beast right there. And you can see the rest of the team is they they push through form troopers. But keep in mind this is a level 35 second awakened uh, red beast here. This is not a maxed out beast. So he's if you have one and you get him maxed out, he's gonna do a lot better than, than this one right here is doing. So you can look forward to uh, quite a bit of success with him. Now there was something odd that happened. It was just last video. Last video was th was on the red uh, guitarist, and I had to make a comment saying the red guitarist is not the one you want at the end of the attack because she can't finish. So it wasn't, but a few days later, where I had to put my foot in my mouth. And <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. That's why I wanted to show this. So red beast goes down. Another Thor Thor's curse. This is a level forty six or forty seven partner that he's fighting against, and then. God of Earth goes down, it's down to the red guitarist and two scarecrows at first. My curse, every time I say something, it's always going to be proven wrong. And look at him going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You would never imagine that the red guitarist would be the one to overcome the mighty third awakened red scarecrow. So here's my overall pick. He's hard to kill. And his main attack lunch time is an A level attack. But it, the biggest con I saw was one, the CD is pretty long on lunch time. And you have to kind of choose between how strong or how fast he's going to be. You kind of can't get them both. We rated everything 1 to 5 on health was a 4, attack a 4, healing a 1, passive for active skill a 3, team attack was a 4 for a total of 3.2. I and mean, that's a 3.2 out of a possible 4 would be a great 4 star partner. So what that means is that. He's not. He may not be really big at helping his uh, teammates out, but he'll be pretty good in a fight with five-star partners. So, good, good overall partner. Definitely want to at least make one of them. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. I know they're fast-paced, and, uh, and it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to follow sometimes. It's hard for me to make them so fast. I just want to keep on talking. So, I appreciate everyone for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Till next time. It's been easy.